Hey guys, it's Brian of Brian's Aquatics. I'm showing you the uh, finished stand from the uh, wheelchair stand I did um, a video on, I don't know, maybe three weeks ago, a month ago. Uh, but anyhow, here's the finished product. It's been stained, polyurethane, sliding doors are on and colored. Uh, just filled the tank up with water last night, did a second water change on it, just waiting on a few sand particles that got missed and rinsing to settle down or for the filter to catch so I can clean all that out uh, but anyhow here we go I'm gonna show you what the inside of the stand looks like also and its functionality the pump is running on it um, and the electric all the electrical is working off the power strip that I mounted in the last video all right let me get a little closer I'll show you how it goes okay here we go I, I got, I'm sitting in a chair that's 19 inches tall I don't have the wheelchair anymore to be able to do it from the wheelchair but this chair I'm sitting in which is your average dinner chair for your table is 19 inches and that's the same height as a uh, wheelchair so that way I know I can get in and do everything based on it and I'm sitting far enough back that the uh, uh, footrest should be able to sit right here and you won't have to worry about falling out of your chair even if you use your footrest. All right, so the first thing, I have to put the knobs on this still, but is this side here, like I showed you in the last video, but now it's got a filter on it. So in order to get this out, all you gotta do is pull it out like that. You can disconnect it and get it cleaned. You don't have to bend real far over to get it, um, at least not far enough that you run the risk of falling out of your chair. Um, it's at a nice comfortable position should be able to, to lift all right and then i just put it back now on that when i go to build the second stand which i'm building an identical one like this to put the exact same setup right next to it um, it's part of the gallery that me and the missus are doing um, this two by four here on the original frame i would have made that a two by three when you go to pull this out until those hoses where I just doesn't I'm not real comfortable with the clearance on there although it does function so that's a plus positive now over on this side again we had the uh, slide out electrical um, which I don't have a timer set on this yet but I'll put a timer on this for the lights um, along with my I'll have a spot for my heater to be plugged in and a secondary filter if I need it but in order to shut everything off all you have to do is flip that switch for the power strip and it turns everything off. Now, in my case, I will probably put the timer down there. Um, right now, I currently have the tank sitting next to this hooked up and plugged into it. I'm pretty much piggybacking uh, stands and tanks. But I, where that orange cord is, right there, I will put my timer there and put the lights on it um, which will just leave my heaters and my pumps on this that way when I go to do water changes I can just pull this out shut that off I'll still have a light on it um, and can see and it'll be on a timer which I won't really have to mess with hardly at all but even if I did I don't think it would be that hard to grab a hold of and pull out I'm not having to lean too far once again if I had that an inch higher up with a 2 by 3 instead of a 2 by 4 it'd give you a little more room um, but that's pretty much it I did do uh, some trim work on it put some ropes on it right there um, some decorative roping along with over here on either side um, and then it's the same way on the other side right there with the ropes and this is a uh, espresso stain to uh sorry the quality is not so good but that's an espresso stain and then i put a uh, polyurethane over it i did the entire stand top bottom all sides um, including underneath where the uh, tank sits that way if i ever do have a leak it will uh, help retract some of that water um, instead of it soaking into the wood and then just get it cleaned up so it doesn't eventually soak it into the polyurethane, although it shouldn't. Um, but I think that's it for this video. Um, 
that's what she looks like I will try to put out another video when I've got fish in it and all that right now I just set it up so it's still got a cycle I do have some rainbows I'm gonna put in here um, along with my Raphael cat at least that's the plan for now all right well thanks guys I appreciate you watching and I will talk to you later